What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another joint. Today's video, if y'all don't know, y'all should all know by now. Today's Thursday, February 15th, and um, MPC 2.1 has just arrived. So I'm going to install it with you guys. I'm going to walk through the steps of installation and depending on how, how long it takes, I might cook up real quick or I might not cook up, depending on how I feel. But I just want to thank all you guys, take the moment to thank all you guys that have taken the time out your day to stop by and show love and support to the channel. My channel has been growing. I've been away for some time due to work and new situations and my setup is different and I'm not even sure if this is recording right now but I'm gonna still go through with it um yeah man so I want to salute to all you guys that you know what I mean stop by and still show show love like I see my subscription has been going up my watch time you know is still up and down really but the subscription is going up so and that's all organic so i want to take the moment right now to thank each and every one of you guys man the last time i checked it was like 390 i'm not sure what it is right now but thank you so much you know what i mean that means a lot to me that you guys obviously are digging the content so that's motivating me to get back into the groove of things is just difficult a little bit with my setup so enough talking let's get to business so right here you can see it say install uh 2.1023 so um yeah open it up i'ma choose the MPC software first. I'm gonna update the software. You know, the Mac users, y'all know this little setup right here. Um, I take off the expansion builder because I'm currently ready to start uh, getting that done. Here you go. It's that simple. It's really not rocket science. <laughs> I'm just super hyped about this new uh, 2.1. The the biggest thing I'm I'm hyped about is the uh, the what you, pitch pitch quantize. That's the biggest thing I'm hyped about because if they did it correctly, that means whenever you load a sample, whenever you load a sample into the NPC, it should tell you the key of the sample. If that's not what it is, then you know it's kind of boo boo, boo boo. <laughs> so we're gonna run it to make sure. Same old, same old. But as you can see, say welcome to uh, version two point one. MPC bring new features to your desktop and standalone MPC experience. Expansion pack support in the standalone MPC hardware file browser. Export expansion packs from desktop MPC to MPC standalone. And pitch quantize. This right here. I'm ready to check this out. Step sequencer improvements. Uh, I don't really mess with step sequencer too much. But I guess that's good for those guys. You can now open multiple GUI plugin windows. And that right there. Those two things. The pitch quantize and multiple plugin GUIs. Meaning, the multiple plugin GUIs mean when you're on the, the desktop version of the software, when you got Omnisphere open, Keyscape open, uh, Nexus open, in order you used to have to click through you know whenever you click it'll it'll 
drop off. If that makes sense. Whenever you click the uh back here and you have this say this right here was Omnisphere back here, it'll drop out. So now you can have multiple open. That's a game changer. Alright. Move audio and MIDI regions with snap in relative or absolute as something to mess with. Improvements to drum programs, envelope. Okay, improvements to MIDI, clock latency, and jitter. Yes, that's a big step. Bug fixes and stability enhancements. Important projects created and saved in MPC 2.1 desktop or standalone will not be compatible with earlier versions. We strongly recommend updating both the desktop software and firmware dope 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 so so this is the software but before i do all of that i'm a um i'm gonna update the, the what you call it i'm gonna update oh i gotta shut it down shut it down shut it shut it down I'm gonna update the live install live driver. So I don't got you know what I'm saying the other camera to get multiple views. So hopefully y'all can see that this big thing right here. So you turn on your live. I'm, I'm hoping you guys are familiar with how to turn on your live. Once you turn on your live, you, you go to settings and you hit that little chip and then you put it into controller mode. I know you guys might not be able to see that, but either way, now it's in controller mode. I need to make sure. Okay, there we go. There we go. The drives. The drives are live. The drive's alive! It is alive! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Your MPC is not running the latest firmware. NPC Live is not running the latest firmware version. I just looked to see if I had the latest firmware and it told me I did. I already got 2.7. What is talking about, man? I'm going to do it anyway, but I know that I got it. Nonetheless. You see? When you see this in on your Mac, when it say 2.7 updater and then it has 1, if this was the first time I had this, it'll uh, it would have been different. But whatever. See, this has a two here, but I'm gonna mess with it just just because I want to make sure. So it says put the device in update mode on the on the hardware. You press the menu button. 
just popped up there. I think it's supposed to pop up. Anyway, on the on the device you put uh, into update mode, you hold. Uh, what's that? Hardware. What the hell? All right. So the technical difficulties are that I gotta close out of um, this. It's not allowing me to update it with this on. So I gotta put it back into standalone mode. I didn't eject the disks properly. Make sure y'all eject y'all disks properly before um, sending into standalone mode. I should have had my other camera, but uh, I didn't realize that we was getting an update today. Uh, so you go to, you hit empty project, hit menu, hit the cog wheel for the settings then right here where it says reset you click and hold shift so before I was trying to do that and, and this section wasn't there you click and you hold shift and you hit update it's, it's telling you are you sure you want to restart the NPC into update mode Obviously you do, so you hit update mode. It shuts down. Now it's in update mode. So now it's reading this. Uh, connect the power supply. I had to go through a lot of shit to, to get that done just now. All right, so now it's connected to a power mode, preparing to update. All right, so once that happens and you see the done on, the, on your computer, it turns off automatically. You can hit done right there. And you know you're good. So now, you hit empty project. Uh, hit menu. See, but it didn't do anything because the firmware is still 2.7. Control surface volume. It's the same thing. So I don't even know why it told me to do all of that. Hardware, pause. It's the same thing. Uh, well, for me, it's the same thing. I don't know. I guess now I could I could put it in controller mode and work with uh, work with the NPC 2.0. Where is the NPC 2.0? Controller mode. Right, we 
What's up with that? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Why are you Why are you bouncing like that? Your MPC Live is not running the latest firmware version for the best MPC experience. All right, I'm glad I captured this on camera because if I call Akai and say, yo, something's up, they say, well, what's up? And then when you try to explain it to them, they act like they don't know what you're talking about. So I'm glad I was recording this. Because y'all seen that I updated the firmware clearly and it's still not communicating. Your MPC Live is not running the latest firmware. I downloaded it already. Right? See? That screen is still open right here because it took me here. Okay? So now it's, it took me to another one, the same place on another tab, and I'm going to hit it again. I don't know what it's talking about. This shit don't even make sense. Look, one, two. And you can see, well, y'all can't see, but it says it right there. 2.1 software version, MPC firmware 2.0725. So, um, I don't know why it's, why it's saying that. All right, I'm not sure why it's doing that. I'm going to contact Akai later on, but let's get to the treats. So, right, so I don't see where they have it on the on the editor all right this magnet is new snap absolute that wasn't there before all right that's brand new i don't see no option for this pitch quantize though i don't see no option for pitch quantize I don't know. I don't see no option for pitch quantize, but the first thing I'm going to do is check, check it out. Keyscape. Track 2. New plugin. Leave it on hybrid. Track 3. New plugin. I'll do, I don't know, I'll do scalar, real scalar, uh, P, 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 pause, 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 I'll do scalar, alright, so that's scalar, that's hybrid, And that's Keyscape. And they're all open at the same damn time. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Can I put them on different screens though? No. All right, this gives us the option to do that. This scale quantize shit though, I mean pitch quantize. I don't know what that's about.
to this quantized business. All right, there we go, pitch quantized. So it's in the edit menu. All right, so it's in edit menu, pitch quantized. All right, so it's in the edit menu. I guess they didn't add it into the, the hardware as yet. Pitch quantize, but it pulls up on you. So I gotta figure out how to find it on the hardware. So I was in key of G sharp and the scale was natural minor. Only selected events. Okay. So I guess how this works is I got I have this going on this track and I'll go to I don't like hybrid. I'll go to scalar. Although it's another piano. And no. I'll go to hybrid. I don't like it. I'll pull up a, a pad. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna play play anything to see this this work. So anything. Press record. So I played anything. Sounds like ass. <laughs> so I'm gonna select all. Go to edit. Go down to pitch quantize. I already got the root. I know the root note. I know the scale. Note input filter. I only want it to happen on these selected notes. And I'm gonna press do it and you, you could just see that it moved I'm, I'm gonna undo that you see those well I was pointing at the, the screen like y'all can see but one two and three move I'm gonna redo that y'all see that all right so I'm gonna undo it I'm gonna solo this track so y'all can hear it. Now I'm gonna redo it. Oh, I can't do it no more. So I gotta go back again. I'm gonna do it. And clearly I was only, I was still in scale because only three notes was off. I'm gonna unsolo it. All right, so that's cool, man. I mean, the sounds that I'm using 
isn't the best uh, example, but we get the point. All right, we get the point. My thing, though, I'm gonna be honest. I don't pitch quantize is cool because I don't play play the piano very well, but I got things for that. I got things for that. So I got hacks for that. That's not the that's not the major the major deal. The major deal for me is if I choose to run in here and drop if I choose to run in here you see this is where pitch quantize works okay or pitch detect or something of that sort like i asked um a couple of people that was at nam if they mentioned anything like that they were saying the only thing they mentioned was pitch quantize pitch quantize is cool but if you don't know the pitch the key the scale what are you quantizing to so if you're using a sample and you want to quantize your sample or pitch your sample to G sharp as we just seen before it was G sharp and I want to pitch this to G sharp it don't tell you like change this right here like the root note it automatically sets it to C3 you could detect the BPM why can't you detect the key or the root note detect root note Akai detect root note please that's all that I think if you if you guys add that there's the other little things but this alone that feature alone will maximize the, the use of the, this part the sample edit window you could detect the BPM but you can't detect the root note you automatically put place it into c3 this thing is not c3 i know for a fact it's not c3 because i was messing with it chopping it up yesterday and i know for a fact that this is in the key of f so for example as you can see that's way off i wouldn't use this sample like that anyway but what i'm gonna do is This is just for the sake of the video, just for instructional purposes. I just want to show y'all something. That's not a that's not a perfect sequence or chop, <laughs> but I just want to show something. If if the this is not the best chops, but if it were in key, we could make it work. Okay, that's what I'm. That's the point of this. That's just completely off. So that is that is it. Those are the two major things that I was most interested in. 
the pitch quantize and y'all failed. <laughs> nah, it's good. It's good. It's good. But I have hacks for that. So I don't per se need that. And on top of it, I don't see where you could use it inside of the, the standalone. It's only functional inside the software. So if it's only functional inside the software, that's another thumbs down because why we use a standalone so if it's only in this connected that's the only use you could use it the whole purpose of having the npc live in the npc x is to get away from the computer yes we still have the functions to do that and it's cool but the whole purpose is to get away from the computer so, Akai, y'all need to get y'all life together and set set this straight. Pitch quantize need to be added, fully functional, standalone. Y'all also need to add detect. What is it? Detect root note. I gotta speak in terms that you guys know. So, for instance right here where's that trim right here where it says detect bpm there should be another field anywhere right here whether it's above it below it right here where it says root note detect root note should be right here like it's not that difficult i don't understand serato came out the gate with it you could do it in other software like you shouldn't have to go through to, to a third party plugin to detect sample regions with a sampler like i don't understand i mentioned it to somebody else before in the in the akai community they say akai the the uh the mpc 2.0 is way much more than a sampler because i said something in the likes of the mpc is a sampler so for the sample based community we'd like to see the pitch quantize work in the way of it detects the key of the sample as soon as you drag and drop a sample inside of the software or on the hardware most most certainly on the hardware but we need it with both we need it to communicate but as soon as you drop a sample inside it detects it automatically just like it detects the bpm automatically it should detect the root note of the sample automatically akai you guys add that in you're good as gold man you're good as gold then we don't have to go to, to third parties such as a serato sample to figure out the key of the sample or a melodyne you understand what i'm saying like we don't we shouldn't have to use third party plugins in order to figure out the key of the sample when you're toting the moniker sampler music production center i get it it's more than just a sampler but if you have the functions to sample and you can't detect the sample it makes no sense so that's enough of my rant um i'm gonna get back into the groove of things i'm not sure when this video is gonna get up on the site because i gotta chop it down and i gotta edit it up and stuff like that but i want to get it out today depending on 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 what it's looking like i'm gonna get it out sometimes today i know my algorithm with my um my uploading is completely off but i'm going to get back into the groove of things thankfully this npc 2.1 is out thank you akai for putting it out um salute to masada i seen the post i seen the bat signal i jumped on the bat signal um pause <laughs> uh yeah man salute to everyone again everyone that stops by to check these videos out i will be getting back into the groove of things my lives um i'm working on my uh my streaming 
functionalities. I'm working on getting some new equipment for that. Uh, I kind of tested it out the other day and it was working. So hopefully it still be working. I'm trying to figure out what time is best. So I'll be doing live videos again. Um, Sample School Sundays will be back. Sample School Sundays will be back. Um, so yeah, man. Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging, y'all. Peace, love, and light. Till next time. Peace.